Yeah, it would help if I was unmuted. Thank you, sir. Um. Yeah, this is a, a good October activity. Uh. So. I'm going to be running this at a Moon Shots uh, in-person charity event next month. Uh, early in the morning, I think at like 7 a.m. Uh, and specifically an all tasks run, so I want to practice that. And also I'm coming for for a silence record for any percent save. Because um, it... Uh, I'm three seconds away right now. I uploaded a video to the VOD channel of a run I did off stream, and that was a 1450. Silence record is a 1447. So we're, we can get there, especially because I do see, like, I see holes in Silence Run. So we're gonna do some, some all tasks here. Let's go. Three, two, one, go. How are you today, Seraph? Dare you to enter this nightmare! Maybe I should also do a run where I practice, like, what I'm gonna say. You know, my, my Claudia game's done quick, uh, pitch. Oh, fuck. Fucking bit. Hang on. <laughs> Reset that. I think I saved it under my bed. I have to be in the office today, but it hasn't been too hectic. Well, that's good. Yeah, I, uh, really no longer want to work in an office. I did that for a couple of years. It was... Well, the environment itself. Being in an office was fine, but I guess it was the job itself. Anyway, so... Uh... Ripple dare you to come over here! We're gonna be starting off at the school level. And that's because, uh... Even though all tasks takes the randomness out of the game, something that I'll be explaining before we actually start the run when we do this, uh, there is a single random element that persists and can ruin a run or force you to reset a run. And that is the phone call slot machine, which we will get to. But for now, uh, welcome to Alcatraz Elementary, the prison-themed school nightmare. So we're going to start off by jumping. Jumping is, of course, faster than walking. The other advantage to jumping is that all of the hitboxes in this game, or the triggers, are actually on the floor. They don't extend to the, the ceiling of the map, just the floor, meaning that you can actually jump right over them. Ooh, 116, it's a little slow. Next, we are going to be fighting the mascot. Go Wolverines. There are also tiny random elements, like the... Like, mascot's pathing was actually fantastic there. Um... The way it moves around and where it starts in this area of the level is actually randomized to some degree. But it doesn't matter in the same way that the phone call slot machine will. How am I doing so far?
Alright. So, we've got to close that door so that we can actually walk to this side. Turn around. You'll notice that at some points I'm not jumping. Uh, this map in particular, and I believe only this map, has some weird angles to the way that Ned walks. He'll walk like diagonally up and diagonally down at a couple of points. Uh, no other level has that. I believe every other level is more or less a completely straight line. Um, and if you try and jump up a diagonal plane, it is actually slower than walking. It constantly stops you. Yeah, moment of silence while I do some... <sighs> While I get absolutely tilted. Yeah. There we go. First try. Alright. Let's endure a long cutscene. Uh, these two characters we're about to see are actually... I guess the last one too. Are actually from the TV show. A very infrequent occurrence in this game. I think the only characters from the show here are these two bullies, the principal we're about to see, and in one cutscene that we won't see, you see Ned's teacher, but everyone else, completely new to the game. Well, 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 Ned Needlebite. So you're the one that's been flagging up. So, the way that this quote unquote puzzle works is that you have that little branch of phone numbers there that you uh, hit a varying sequence of buttons in order to get to. And Thank you for calling the happiest place on what goes to what is completely random even if you save. Unfortunately. So there is a lot of time that we have to restart an all tasks run because it didn't work out. We're hoping for not Ned's real parents. Let's go. This is an outrage. There is no way our darling Max could do something this heinous, this pedestrian, this lubricious. Yes, exactly, Red Seraph. The the jumping with regards to the um to the hitboxes is essentially something the developers didn't consider. They didn't think shoot, I forgot to uh forgot to advance that. Um They didn't think that you would be jumping everywhere, because why would you be? The seven year olds who are gonna play this game are surely just going to use their arrow keys to walk. And then for our fantastic platforming sections that have no issues whatsoever, they can jump. So the librarian placement here is also somewhat randomized. Good, she didn't stunlock me too bad. Holy Blackbeard? Hi, Ned. Surprised? What are Crap, you doing? Button again. Well, you know, I thought I was gonna, yeah. Uh, I always wanted to. Luckily, I won't have to hit the button. Everyone to think in the even. Toppers, everyone thinks I am. I hang out with you, Billy, but you have to stop calling me Melonhead. That's fair. See you later, Billy. Yep. Thanks, Ned. The other thing is that those two boys have the exact same shaped head. So normally, if you uh. I think I did that wrong? No, I did it fine. Okay. So normally if you walk past those girls or try to jump past them, you uh, will get trampled by them as you walk past. But by lining it up very precisely, you jump over their weird hitbox. We are running a little behind in, in this run, Vaporwave Ned. Hi, buddy. Let's look at the first problem. Yeah, do you want to come up and say hi? So this segment, math class, is typically a very long and annoying platforming section where your goal is to get over to there. Uh, this is actually a wall that you definitely can't just clip through. 
solve the problem, and we're done. Now let's try one a little more challenging. So next we're going to do what is perhaps the longest single segment in the entire game. And uh, honestly, in terms of art style, probably my personal favorite. In terms of actually doing it, it sucks. So. <laughs> So we are actually going to be playing four fighting game mini games against four claymation bosses. First up, we have the chicken. So each one of these bosses, the whole gimmick is that you have to hit something in order to put them into a vulnerable state in which you can do damage to them. Sometimes you get a little bit of extra damage in there like that. And they'll all typically have some fucking annoying little thing like this macaroni that if it hits you, let's go, chicken gun. Uh, it'll stop you for a minute. One of the biggest time wastes in this game is just um, waiting for a thing to body horror Ned for a little while. Except we have the clay, clay monster. This one is a very weird one because for a reason I can't quite explain but must have to do with like the way this room is angled, uh, the way you jump isn't the same every time. You go different distances and wind up in like different little spots so I do have to oh uh, this is awful this is like a five cycle you have to watch out for that as well hit him let's go yeah wasted about eight seconds there also the clay monster has the shortest vulnerable period of any of these uh, bosses. Except we have uh, Vlad here. Vil Occasionally you can get extra hits in uh, after their vulnerable period. Vlad and the chicken have some specifically. Missed it. So actually, while you're in that state, you can actually still move around. But, uh, it didn't quite matter. The Rock'em Sock'em Monster looked great. Rock'em Sock'em Monster. Not sure which one you mean. Alright, last one. The skeleton. Possibly the worst one. Uh, this has... Not quite the same problem as the clay monster, where like the distances are different. But one, it attacks uh, better and farther away. And two, occasionally the vulnerable thing won't actually hook. Oh, where? Hang on. The button actually hits when the axe falls. Yeah. There we go. Whoops. There we go. Hey, that was actually a pretty good skeleton fight. Still about 30 seconds ahead, but... Made up some time there. So, now we are in the attic. Uh, or rather, the attic basement and beyond, but we're uh, mostly interacting with the attic here. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to uh, hit these cats until they go away. These cats are currently uh, throwing mirrors at us to have them break and give us both bad luck and a lot of glass shards in our face. Eat my yo -yo. The cats have like 
cycles are slightly annoyingly long. This is perhaps the slowest thing we will be doing in this level. But now that we've hit those cats, we can go down into the basement to interact with this kind of I'm offensive you could stereotype. Admit, the planet present an opportune time to tell you. We have to hit these when they come around. Like offspring. There we go. And climb back up out of the basement here. This always freezes for a second. Alright, now we move on and we are going to go and visit Wild, Weird, and Wonderful. For some reason, the theme of Attic, Basement, and Beyond is a combination of like bad luck urban legends and freak shows so we do have to destroy all of these guys luckily the last one will uh just go away with an extra little hit uh, i forgot to hit the button and also i forgot that we need something over here this is why we practice We're going to be taking a quick trip up here to feed some dogs. So, I do unfortunately have to wait for the camera. You don't have to hit that, that's just for me. Uh, otherwise, it just won't let you move. Um, much like how the school has a lot of issues with you, you jumping around, uh, in that case, with the level geometry. The attic really doesn't like when you jump around for the camera's sake. It really hates when you jump around. It really can't keep track of you that well in this one level. No other level, just this one. I uh, probably could have jumped. That's fine. Next, we're going to be talking to a dragon played by famed character actress Edie McClurg. You may remember her from such films such as Ferris Bueller's Day Off and Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. And perhaps other such John Hughes films? I'm not sure. But she's going to tell us a little urban legend about her friend who... A friend of a friend who took a trip to Acapulco. And the strange things that happened a friend took when she a got back. To Acapulco. On the second day, she awoke with a zit the size of Puerto Rico. But a zit it was not, for it would not pop. She pinched and she picked and she pulled out the stops. But it grew and ballooned and it started to move. And then all of a sudden, a burst filled the room. She ran to the mirror to sneak a peek and screamed at the sight as baby spiders emerged from her cheek. So Edie's two other little poems are, I believe, Mandor Handhook Cardor and one about, like, microwaving a dog. Which I don't know what's up with that one, but... Uh, again, the camera not liking when you jump. There we go. Next up, we're going to be having a little nice time with the ghost. Yeah, incredible stuff they put in kids' games. It was a little slow there on on the uh, the button press. Gonna make sure this guy gets to play his favorite record. Wow, and this uh, gold the string with the string. That's Sandy cool. Patty Cake. Hi, Sandy Patty Cake. I rub you a rock. Creepy. Found Sandy in the trash. Can you believe someone threw her out? Um, I found nearly everything right here. I see a treasure chest. <laughs> Don't worry. I won't tell anyone. Promise? Off my heart. So here we're going to be seeing the second instance of a shortcut. Shortcuts are a feature in this game 
where you don't have to go back to the quilt in order to get to another level. And unfortunately, this one can soft lock you a little bit. Um, in most cases, it's not quicker than... It's not quicker to use a shortcut than to just go back to the quilt. Uh, but in this one case, and in the school as well, it actually is specifically for all tasks. Um, I believe this one, when you do it properly, oh, hang on, saves you about 10 seconds. Uh, so now we're going to be making a ladder of dead rats. And then we're going to be playing around with something we shouldn't. So I believe there are 13 rats, because of, of course there are 13. Just need to hit them as they fall, so that they make a ladder that you can climb up and reach the area above the fan. It is uh, tedious. I'm going to be a couple of seconds behind here. That's the last one. So tell me, uh, have you ever heard of a dev warp? A dev warp being something that uh, developers put in in order to not have to do everything in their games? Well, as you just saw, the devs accidentally left one in just for this level. If you hit the numbers 1 through 9 on the keyboard, uh, they warp you to different places around the map here. Not any of the sub-maps. There, there's a, one small sub-map that we're going to be doing uh, in a little bit. But it comes in real handy because, as I've mentioned before, the platforming is very bad in this game. Uh, so we're going to hit 3 in order to go over to here. Jump into the bathtubs, hear a little bit of the rat song, Pog. And that's our platform one. We're going to hit seven in order to go up onto this ladder. And uh, probably didn't need to jump. I I'm too focused on this, and I won't have to do splits and at, at ground control. Alright, let's learn about uh, puberty. What is this? Some kind of gorilla? Ain't no gorilla, ain't no grizzly bear. I'm what you're gonna be someday. No way! So fuzzy and so furry everywhere. That's right, my boy. Have so much hair that your mom won't even know you. She'll scream, Get away from me! She will? Yeah. And that's the truth on just how growing up. And I'm, uh, I asked Paddington if we could have a way to mix it so that no chance the chat hears this pretty well and, and people on the couch can as well. The worst part of it is, is what? Nobody else is gonna look like this. You'll try points and screens and kills, but you'll still be different from everyone else. Wait a minute! Somebody comes out. I should learn the name of the guy who wrote all these songs before I uh, before the event. Max something. I want to say Max Scherzer, but I think he was the one of the pitchers for the Washington Nationals in like 2019. He's still playing baseball. What's Max Scherzer up to? One of my favorite players. No way. 
We're gonna hit eight now in order to uh nine. Actually. That was very strange. Normally we don't get two artifact neds at at the same time. Um the artifact neds are a result of dev, dev warping, and they're going to be sticking around for the rest of the run, actually. I'm not sure if both of them will, but uh, at least one of them will. Yep. So this is a platforming segment. Ooh, we got a good cycle here. Uh, if you hit any of those guys, it sends you back to the beginning of the platforming. And if you fall in any of the toilets, that uh, sends you to a different area and you have to try again completely. Uh, so what that flush did is I turned those razor blades off so we could pass through to here to get the next uh, thing. Great explaining, Claudia. And you know, uh, I've heard that Razor scooters have gotten so dangerous that parents have started buying their kids Razor Blades. Razor Blades. I'm being haunted by a toilet? I'm more than a toilet, Ned. Take a look. Promise not to flesh me? I'll try my best. All I saw was me. That's right. A nuclear power plant of hormones ready to experience a meltdown. Huh? You'll see. And remember, it's only a mirror and doesn't always reflect the boy inside. Oh, you gotta quit flushing those banana peels. They're killing me. Sorry. And, uh, that's an important lesson for us all. Whoa! Don't collect banana peels. I hear they're handing out razor blades and Halloween candy to dissuade the kids from the scooters. Aw, oh, man. That's brilliant. What will they think of next? Next, we're gonna be heading to the graveyard. Come on, little man! Let's get this nightmare rolling! I'm just wondering if I can save some time. Because I forgot that medical is right there. No, 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 because we would lose the time that we would save doing the shortcut with medical to having to go up and down the tree with the ghoul. So anyway, we're going to be exploring Ned's fear of death. Unfortunately, this plot is purchased. That guy has like six different things that you can say. Seven, eight. Gonna hit this cat disguised as a dog. Bump into him. We bump into him specifically so that we hit the right um, trigger point on the floor that we would miss by jumping. We're now going to be going down into this grave. And we do need to, uh, to find our way out. And we do that by distracting this skeleton. One, two, three, jump. And using his ottoman to jump. So next, we are going to go back to the trick-or-treater and hit his uh, cat, dog, whatever. There's a cat disguised as a dog disguised as a cat. And that gives us another uh, another shadow. Apparently we did the, uh, the Ottoman section faster than we've ever done it. The more you know. Ooh, so we did miss it, but we usually do have to be careful there because uh, there is a monster there that can soft lock you, like, completely. 
I know I've said Softbox a couple of times before, but that one can completely stop your game. Uh, next, we're going to be visiting Ned's parents. silence while I do this part. And no need to wait for that arm to actually go down as we climb the longest ladder since Snake Eater. Keeps going. And there we go. All right, next we're going to harass some Girl Scouts and uh, help a little girl with her nightlight. Game was chugging right there. So these Girl Scouts will uh, throw flaming marshmallows at us as Girl Scouts do. But if you hit them both, you get some delicious cookies. Let's have a bite. Oh, worms and zombified. So, luckily, all we have to do to get unzombified is get a hug from this nice gentleman. Pops us out of our skin. And into this mausoleum, where I have this sequence memorized so well. One, two, three, jump, turn, hit, hit the bricks, and we're out. We have to do there. So scary. It's me, Grandpa Ted. Grand? The one and only. Are you? Well, not yet. So stop the worrying. We still have places to go, things to do. Just me and you. Call me when you wake up. We'll take you in a monster movie. That is definitely the type of kid you should take to a monster movie. So what you were supposed to do with the uh, mausoleum segment, that's fine because it actually puts us out on the other side. Um is that little zombie girl in there, uh, the bat stole her nightlight, and you need to get it back by scaring it. And that's it. We just did it real quick. And we're going to be taking a trip inside this urn. Hitting this thing to reveal it's a poodle. Hitting this guy to reveal that he's a little clown. So the demon goes away. And jump on the jack-in-the-box. Clown very helpfully launches us out. And rip clown. And last but not least, we are going to be visiting the ghoul. Ever seen a pup? One of the few like boss fights in this game. Ever seen a pumpkin? Whoa! <laughs> So normally you're supposed to like hit these ghosts, whoops, but you can actually just walk right past them if you miss their triggers, hang on. So this terrifying guy will, will brain you if you don't hit him when his arm is up. Ooh. Not my cleanest cool. And finally, we're going to go to the medical level. A uh, trigger warning for medical stuff and especially like gross mouth stuff. I have a prescription for terror. 
that artifact Ned still hanging around, keeping us company. I stopped noticing him. So we're going to be uh, in this waiting room, dumping, and selecting the gurney. Radio silence so I don't fuck this up, but basically we're going to be going past some doors with some doctors in them. If you are at the same height as the doctors are, they will steal your organs and you have to uh Nurse, get me a soul. You have to win them back essentially in roulette. It is annoying. Like, you can time it right and get them, but the timing is weird. So the best strategy is to simply not be bad. Staying low to the ground here, and avoiding all the pink ones. Again. I believe that's not the last one. The next one's the last one. The one after that. The one after that. The one after that. Yeah, that's the last one. I'm proud to announce the birth of a nine pound baby. Thing. Never heard that dialogue. Okay. Normally those beavers there would uh, give you back your organs, but we didn't need that. And going back to the lobby actually gets you a shadow as well, or has the opportunity to. And we're going to take a quick trip to the dentist now. Uh, me and who? <laughs> Probably shouldn't use that joke. Yeah, Ned's a real- the- the artifact Ned is a real champ hanging in there. So here we are in the mouth. Again, you don't have to actually hit these, uh, black monsters here. You can jump right past them. And this is a segment where we have to wait for a moment. I'm trying to, uh... Yeah, that's- that's about right. And once the mouth closes here, we can actually climb this ladder. You thought that was just nasty tooth stuff. It was actually a ladder, so we could visit the fairy godmother Gingivitis. I am the fairy godmother Gingivitis, and I welcome you to the magic of toxic breath. So that I've been practicing how to uh, how to avoid the bats in this level. I can pretty reliably dodge this first one. There we go. Let's go! Three bad dodges. Oh. So if we get hit by the mouth, the dentist comes and stabs us. If he stabs us four times, he sends us back to the quilt. But we don't have to worry about that. Instead, we're going to take in a show. Hey, thank you for coming. It's great to be here. I ain't your baby, I'm your you, you love, thank you. I ain't your honey, and I'm feeling blue, you love, cause you won't even give me how to do, you love. I just hang here and sing, but baby, I sure know how to swing. I ain't your baby, but it's true, you love, that if you'd only look and see all the ways I can move, you'll attune to my groove, you'll applaud, you'll approve, you'll love free. I may be just a small town, you view, but I'm the king of the mouth. 
and I gotta be me. Yes, I gotta be me. Good night, everybody. Drive safely and remember, uvula backwards is I love you. Wonderful. Thank you, Mr. Uvula, for the beautiful performance. We will now be continuing our journey into the mouth. One day we'll dodge that. We're gonna figure it out, gang. But we have our final face off with the dentist here. He tries to follow us over these needles, gets hit, and now we face down the tooth monster. Good evening, Ned. And time is as soon as she's done talking. Lovely seeing you. Please excuse me. I've got to get these lollipops to a patient upstairs. You mean, not gonna do anything to me? See you later. Uh, there. That's time. Time is when we go to the final cutscene, whatever. And that's Nightmare Ned. Uh, this is a game that I really love, to be honest. Warts and all. I think it's really creative, really interesting. And honestly, it's a lot of fun. Um, I hope that you all enjoyed watching it, and you all on the the couch next to me. And I gotta leave room for their commentary too. So there's probably stuff that I gotta Good morning, choose not to say. Hope you weren't scared by the storm last night. Not at all. Not the razor blades joke, of course. That, that stays in no matter what. Now what are we supposed to do? We could perform hideous, painful medical procedures on each other. I'm sure it's 7 a.m. I'm gonna be less willing to talk. You can make handouts for them to read. Oh, to like, to tell the little interesting tidbits about like the, um, about like the platforming and stuff and the dev warp. Reset, but uh, definitely beat the those times there. My sum of best is apparently like almost four minutes faster than what I have right now. How is that possible? Where am I losing time? I guess like phone call slot machine. The little fights. Four minutes? It's crazy. Um, what else? Should we do another one? Um... Let's switch to, uh, save but save, switch to, uh, save file. Right. For some reason I have two. Okay, that's not a real one, so. <laughs> I gotta move this around. So... Medical... I definitely want to do... Uh, all the bathroom stuff. And then go into the graveyard. We could maybe start with bathroom. Did we start? Oh, wait. Shit. Uh, new segment, remove segment. Just here, move up, move up, move on. Move down, move down, move down, move down, move down, move down, move down. Um. Hmm. 
and I was I was working on an order where I do um uh wild weird and wonderful first we go left to right I sincerely no longer believe I know that we timed it and it was faster somehow but I sincerely no longer believe that it is faster. There we go. Um, uh, we could end on medical still. Or we could start on medical. I feel medical has a big, like, time gap for me. I know that, that silence starts in Graveyard, but I think that starting in, um, starting in Bathroom and doing the shortcut to Graveyard is way faster. I don't know. Let's try this. What have we got to lose? Except like 15 minutes of my life. The only life that I get. But like, what am I doing with it? <laughs> That's a joke. I'm doing good things with my life and I shouldn't joke that much. I gotta make sure that cutscene fucking plays. Okay. We're going to the bathroom first. Bathroom is left? One? Yeah. Okay. And three, two, one, go. I didn't hit the button. <laughs> three, two, one, go. Nope. I, uh, I actually didn't load the save. Okay, now three, two, one, go. Speed, me, Ned! We only need to shave off three seconds for my PB. I don't feel like that'll take a lot of grinding. And I'm sure that Silent will beat it in like three days after I post it and she'll be by like three seconds. <laughs> Also, while I do appreciate you saying you believe that y'all can do it, I will say this is me, Claudia, specifically, who does this speedrun. I appreciate the plural nonetheless. My friends, when they, uh, when I do something nice for them, I appreciate the plural nonetheless. Solid platforming. Okay, we're going to do a jump step jump. We're going to hit three. 
So admittedly, I forget where it drops you off. I feel like it drops you off at like nine. No, maybe not. Thanks for coming out, Red Seraph. We will. I'll probably still be streaming by the time you get back. Uh, okay. Uh, four. are a little cold. It's getting towards that time of year. Over. Hi, buddy. You frozen over there? <laughs> I'm silly. Did you have... Uh, could you please try to watch where you step? Have a good, uh, dinner? Oh, I guess your dinner happened. Don't worry. Ad will be home soon. Mads went to a doctor's appointment. So his routine is little over and... Ain't you ever no. seen a pumpkin before? You looking at my head? Tim Burton asked some music. Danny Elfman asked music, sorry. I can't believe that Fairy Godmother is somehow slower than you, Vila. Or faster than you, Vila, rather. Maybe my timing is all screwed up. I just saw a silent line up his feet like this. 
I think she was actually aiming for where on the ladder she wanted to be. Or just so that she would actually get on the ladder. The hissing in this audio is all so weird to me. I am the fairy godmother, Ginger Biders, and I welcome you to the magic of toxic bread. Jump. Nice. Duck. Jump. Don't even have to worry. Huge. So, gonna be Whoa! close. I gotta do the rest of it in five minutes. School can be done in about two minutes flat. Hey, come and see what goes bump. Four minutes and thirty seconds. I don't know. The camera is not helping. Didn't like the jumping there. We might do it. Fuck. You motherfucker. You. I hit it a little early, but. That's fine, we can just clear out that split later. Triple 
don't dare you to come over here. Hey, sweeties. Yeah. Sorry, I'm dialed in right now. I am working for the world record. I might miss it by like one second. He does. Not afford a single fuck up here. No, not going to do it. Mascot placement might do it. I'm hoping beyond cope here. Holy shit, it's right there. Oh, I thought it's moving away. Billy, let's go! Hi, Ned. Point oh four right. seconds. I'm sorry, you guys scare well, him. You know, I thought I was gonna, yeah. I always wanted to hang out with you, but I'm scared everyone would think I wasn't as tough as everyone thinks I am. I'd hang out with you, Billy. Yeah. Congrats. Point oh four seconds. That's fair. See you later, Billy. Yep. Thanks. Jesus man. Christ. Get I'm I'm shaking a little bit. That's embarrassing. You okay? Yep. Do you want help? <laughs> oh. Not at all. Yeah, that's true. Great. Now what are we supposed to do? We could perform hideous, painful medical procedures on each other. Oh no. Here you come. Yeah, because what channel? Yeah. <laughs> he really managed to slip you. <laughs> okay, give him the cheese and I will go close the door. You're gonna give him the truth. Archer's being bad for his meds. He's had a bit of a, a flip backwards in that regard. Oh. I thought you'd just be able to grab him there.
and stuff over here. Don't worry about it. How's it going, chat? Thank you. Okay, Archer has been given his meds. Whew. I'm gonna be honest, I think we can do better than that. That got all fucked up by um Fucking, I got fucked up by Wild, Weird, and Wonderful. There you go, buddy. Hopefully I don't have to retime that. Should I retime it? It's so close that like I gotta do a segment where I download the VOD that's currently going. I can't do it right now anyway, so. We'll see later, but hopefully I can just do it again. God, it was I, I was fucking locked in. In a way I've never felt locked in before with this game. Like maybe Maybe like a couple of near misses with Silence initial record. But the record is 1446 by me. Load the game. Okay. And we're doing bathroom first. Three, two, one, go. Oof. Feed me, Ned! See, I think that we can do a little better because we did have some flaws in our movement. I think specifically the attic fucked us up a little bit, not just with Wild Weird and Wonderful, but also with uh, the lamp. I, I went for the lamp too early. I think the graveyard was fine though. The graveyard was great actually. Medical was good. I dodged three bats in medical. I mean, what more can a girl ask for? Hi, buddy. I'm sorry that we had to scoop you to get your meds. So he had a cardiologist appoint me yesterday, and they gave him a, uh, a band-aid or bandage where they took his blood and um he would not let us get off of him for like like 12 hours he just like did not want to be picked up or fucking helped at all Ooh. 
full second. I sincerely believe that sub 13, 1430 is possible. Beyond that, we'll need to find like a new exploit. And I think that's kind of beyond what Silent and I can do. At least like, you gotta have like the Lich Hunters for that, you know? Ah. Well, there goes that second that I made up. Four. Okay. Five seconds. Six seconds, even. It's almost like restartable for me. <laughs> Just because I beat it by so little last time. We'll make that up with Wild Weird and Wonder. You're scaring the worms. Because that was like 10 or 15 seconds. I like how you can hear that he lands on a platform down there before they go here. Seven. Lifted by point one. Ah, now we gotta do like twenty jumps. Live this run is holding the control key. The secret is when not to hold the control key. Right, sweet? Ever yep. seen a pumpkin? Whoa! Thank you, sweeties. Try the um, attic shortcut terror. from medical. Like, fuck it, right? I already got the world record, might as well experiment. I think it is a little faster. Like, you do have to listen to Dr. Klutchnik, but Dr. Klutchnik's dialogue is short. Like, Dr. Klutchnik? <sighs> Hi, Ned. 
I have to get these patients to do it. It's, it's like 20 seconds compared to like going out to the quilt and back in, which is like, it's, it's like 60 seconds. I do have that dialogue memorized. I just like, it was too focused on other shit in this moment. I guess one advantage with Fairy Godmother in terms of speed is that I think that breathing on the dentist is faster than getting stabbed. Plus the cycles are better for bad. I am the Fairy Godmother Gingivitis, and I welcome you to the magic of toxic breath. This is going to be like a point oh one or something. <laughs> Ooh, negative point two. Death, jump. Duck. Same thing happened to Silent in her world record. I'm kind of convinced that it's impossible to dodge that particular bat. If we do find a way, it is over for you, hoes. Oh, wait, go back. There we go. Ooh, full second. Good evening, Ned. Dr. Clutchnik. Lovely seeing you. Please excuse me. I've got to get these lollipops to a patient upstairs. I mean, not gonna do anything to me? See you later. Hello? Why do you jump up? One more. I don't know. You go right into attic, though. Hang on. Nope. That is six seconds faster. Seven almost. Probably over seven if I didn't fuck it up. Made up that one second when I fucked up hitting the lamp. Eat 
faster admittedly but eh, I'm just being a perfectionist now we've done this a million times yeah my sum best is now 1432 It's also wild how I now know, like, the exact times that some of these segments take. Like, I know that this, on, like, a really good run, is, like, 218. From Quilt to Third Shadow. It used to be, like, 238. Got, like, 20 full seconds off that. Quite as dialed in. 1430. Some best. Ooh, that is a deep librarian. Keep my yo yo. Fuck. Uh, I'm on. Oh, that was like all the time that I saved. That was four full seconds. That was a bad combination of deep librarian and and, uh, stun lock. I, unless mascot is real bad, I do think this is gonna be in a world record again, though. Two in a row? gonna, yeah. Uh, I always wanted to hang out with you, but I'm scared everyone would think I wasn't as top as everyone thinks I am. I'd hang out with you, Billy, but you have to stop calling me Melonhead. That's fair. See you later, Billy. Yep. Thanks, Ned. Let me tell you. We're going again. We're going again. I cannot be stopped. Hit reset. Definitely update the splits. I would love to get an auto splitter for Ned. The problem is I would have to program it. <laughs> and like... I don't know how the game logs if a, if a segment has been beaten or not. And that requires a very annoying, like... Hope you weren't scared by the storm last night. Not at all! Import, export, import, export. Of saves. Great! Now what are we supposed to do? We could perform hideous, painful medical procedures on each other! Ooh. Man. Sub-1430 possible. Possible. Sub-14? Maybe one day. I'm glad that we made this save. I'm glad that I made this save. I 
the end of the night, I'll take my best time and, and clip it and give it to Silent. So what have we learned? We've learned that bathroom to graveyard is faster than quilt, and that medical to attic is faster than their shortcuts, rather. Bathroom to graveyard, definitely because, like, you can skip the dialogue thanks to the Otherwise, it would not be at all. I think medical to attic is mostly saved by the fact that Dr. Dr. Klutchnik does not talk much. Because she has to get some lollipops to the patient upstairs. The kid's eating a lot of lollipops. So our school d was done in 2 minutes and 41 seconds. That's terrible. <laughs> The, uh, the actual like times are on the first full save splits. Edit splits. I'm home. Flusher takes a minute and 39 seconds. Razors takes 35. Platforming takes 45. Graveyard. Uh, the the alderman takes a minute and five, twenty five seconds. Should be home by seven. Love, mm. <laughs> yeah, thirty seconds on the librarian. Not good. Uh oh. I hope I can find. Hey, when he says uh oh. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Speed me, Ned! Speed running is fun. Maybe I'll find another game to run at some point. Thank you for the congrats, Red Seraph. Uh, that's actually my second world record in a row. The first one I beat by... I beat by 0.04 seconds. Let me, let me tell you, I'm about to get my third world record. nervous. Two seconds. Damn. I never noticed the Razor's like snoring before. Because of course it's so easy to hear things in that room. I don't know how I couldn't have noticed. Point one seconds. That's just me hitting it earlier or later. 
in all likelihood. Seven seconds, that was faster. Sheesh. We're now officially sub-1430 on our Summon Fest. It's possible, people. Need a lift. We are so back. Previously, this speedrun was a game of shaving off minutes. Now it is a game of shaving off seconds, and soon it will be a game of shaving off milliseconds. You looking at my head? You know what? I am looking at that guy's head. I'll admit it. is brave enough to say, but I am looking at that guy's head. That's point three? Come on. Whoa! I forgot where we were going for a split second. That split second. I'm glad we can dodge the bats consistently now. It's super weird that the third bat, whether you dodge it or not, relies completely on whether you dodge the second bat. Got our COVID vaccine. Just thinking about that. It's uh, it's gonna save us a lot of, a lot of annoyance later. Hands up. 
Getting it on Friday, nice. Be warned, it kicked my ass for like 36 hours minimum. Have you had a lot of bad reactions to the vaccines? The very first one we got was fine. The second and basically everyone after that. One of our system kids woke up as a result of one of the vaccines. I think the second one. Point six, but that just might be me uh, hitting it wrong. Or hitting it late, rather. Step. Jump. Go to the very edge. Drop. Jump. Duck. Jump. And walk like there's nothing going on. Not terrible as far as you... Hang on. As far as you remember. We have a lot of prepared food. Nice. That'll help. Walk, 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 walk. Jump. in awe that you can speedrun and chat. Thank you. I, uh... My first world record of the day, fun to say that, I, uh, did get so dialed in at the very end that I was just fucking silent. Maybe I should rephrase that. That I was, I was fucking quiet. Good evening, Ned. Considering the only Excuse other runner's I've got to get these username is Silent. I mean, not gonna do anything to me? See you later. Don't know why he did that. <laughs> Go boosters kick our asses for 24 hours afterwards, but with lots of rest of time. That's good. I just need to memorize the number of jumps here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. That's roughly seven. Plus one? Damn. <laughs> yeah, I was weirdly misplaced there, or like misaligned. Walk there. Oh, jump. About the same. Need to figure out how to do that better. Because I'm used to the way that I defeat the last two coming from left to right, is the thing. Dare you to enter this nightmare!
One thing I do like about speedrunning Ned is that there's a little bit of, like, downtime. I can take a minute, stretch my fingies. I don't like that one, like, Super Mar the the kid that recently got the Mario 64, I guess that was, like, a year ago now. Mario 64 speedrun record for 16 star, and like between segments, he was like wiping off his hands with a towel. That felt slow. I know it's, you guys can't tell because it's like a microsecond, but that felt like a very slightly slow turn and start to jump. Wall. Come on, close librarian. He's so far. No, 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 don't stun lock me. Oh no, oh, there goes the record. It's over. Oh, maybe not. Depend on mascot placement. Joey Blackbeard? Hi, Ned. Three in a row. What are you doing here? Well, you know, I thought I was gonna. Sub 1440. Uh, I always wanted to hang out with you, but I'm scared everyone would think. Oh, what a world we live in. Everyone thinks I am. Hang out with you, Billy. But I'm not gonna mess it silent a third time to tell her again. <laughs> That's fair. See you later, Billy. Yep. Thanks, Ned. Well, that was a good one. Maybe one more. Just, just one more. Like Pringles, you can't have just one. You can't have just three. Let's uh gonna do one more of these and then one more all tasks. Oh, I gotta look at- I, I think I missed him already, but who the, uh, song guy was. It's Max something, hang on. Emerald song writer. Jim Owens! It was not Max at all. <laughs> Jim Owens, I'm locking it in. Real quick, speaking of Nightmare Ned music, uh, I don't think that you or Niels were here for this Red Seraph, but um, there is this... There's this comment on the Nightmare Ned soundtrack, like one of the videos of it, that is just bonkers. Um, where is it? Is it this one? Clagmar's top video game music? <laughs> Atmosphere. It's it's this weird comment where like somebody goes off about like 
like wokeness or something. Purity song. Transgender fever dream of Ned. That's not it. Let's see. Main theme. Yeah, Nightmare Ned is is woke. Uh, something about like Stonewall and where the fuck is it? It is somebody saying like. Like it's a shame that people are trying to to turn Ned into I don't know like a queer icon or something, and they they just said like an insane word salad. I maybe it got deleted. Uh, now I gotta play it because it's woke. Yeah, you gotta get a computer that can handle Nightmare Ned. It, it, you gotta get your T90 3200 30, graphics card. I guess I guess the creator or like the poster deleted that comment or something. That's the only thing I can think of. I mean, this is like neither here nor there. Like this is just me. Oh, wait. I might have taken a screenshot of it. Ned. Yo, I found it. Wait. No, the, that's silent. Uh, proving my runs. I was so excited. I took a screenshot. Nightmare? Now the most boringest part of the vlog. Hmm. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> let's let's restart here. I, would, I do wish I could find it, though, just because of how bonkers it was. Most recent. I don't know why all these pictures of Archer are coming up when I search Nightmare. <laughs> It's like September of last year that I saw it. I'm home. Mom? Dad? Bunch of stuff about Saw. I'm just letting this play for a minute. And I can't believe that you can't have nightmares anymore because of woke. I found it! Okay. So this person says, and I quote, purely psychological. Everything in the fr everything in this franchise is purely psychological. It's a psychological creation by a doctor to help use as a tool to help kids overcome their fears. When in reality, it, it, sorry, it's not fully loaded the quality yet. 
Um, it, when in reality, it it's gotten. does give you the fears. Hang on. Why is it taking so long to fucking just load the quality on this? May I see it? Whatever. When in reality, it does give give you those fears. Whatever. It's since been picked up by the LGBTQ community, and now everybody knows the game as they claim Ned was struggling with his gender identity, so he suffered terrifying nightmares. The LGBTQ community believe it's a good thing to to use to help people understand their struggles. But I think it's a step too far to accuse the game of supporting trans rights by unofficially announcing Ned as gay or trans or politicized a 90s game over uh, modern trans rights with little media coverage and authentic authentication while simulta why simultaneously having opposition to hate the game for its alleged support of Stonewall. So true, bestie. <laughs> By the way, that weird thing you said about Ned being created by a doctor to help their his patients overcome their fears? That's not true. That's just some, that's some shit you made up. Anyway. Anyway, that was me talking over the Nightmare Ned opening. Two things long. I like Google Photos being so fucking terrible right now. Let me open this up and polish because uh, I did want to see what one of that, one of those lines was. Who's this stupid ad? There it is. Everything in this franchise is purely psychological. Sorry. Uh, every time this guy said purely, it's spelled capital P U R L E Y. Um, when reality, it helps give you them. It helps give you the fears. Um,. I think it's a step too far to accuse the game of supporting trans rights by unofficially announcing Ned as gay or trans or politicized the 90s game over modern tran rights with little media coverage and authentication why simultaneously why simultaneously having opposition to hate the game for its alleged support of stone. There we go. Anyway, let's uh, start this game and its alleged <laughs> support of Stonewall. <laughs> What are you laughing at over there? Feed me, Ned! Oh. Which one? Yeah, no. Also, yeah, Ned really does celebrate in those 50 minutes before, <laughs> before his parents come home. Honestly, mood. Honestly, though, that guy's wrong. Ned is a queer icon. Did you hear that puberty song? It's about how he's scared of being tall and hairy and turned into a man. This is what the bathroom level is about. The toilet even says at the end, he's like, you're a, you're a fucking volcano of hormones about to erupt. The toilet, when you when you defeat the bathroom level, says your your volcano of hormones about to erupt, and you are a gay icon and allegedly support Stonewall. 
That was a weird cycle. Oh. Oh. Restart it. Restart me. Ah, oh, fuck. Also, to be frank, never saw a child see nobody was home, then, like, literally slide to their room to change clothes. Yeah. I did see, uh... I think here, too. It's so annoying sometimes to restart. You, like, can't access the escape menu in certain rooms in this game. Um... What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, there was this video that uh that I immediately skimmed through. Um where this trans woman was saying how Ned definitely has like trans stuff in it. Not just in the show where there's an entire episode where uh Ned hang on three two one go. There's an entire episode where Ned has a nightmare that he is uh he's now a girl. But like Let me flush you into in the night. in the dream, he's not like I'm a girl. In the dream, he's like I'm a boy, and everyone around him is like, "Okay, sweetie, a lot of girls go through this phase." And there, there's a scene where he's at the kitchen table with his parents, and he he like is crying. He's like, "I am a boy," and it's like, "God damn, you you went real hard on this." There's, there's no way that's not it's, it's at least somewhat intentional. Um, but also in the game, like, we we talked about the puberty song in this whole level already. But also, like, the, the little zombie girl in the graveyard. This, this woman pointed out, like, Ned has a little girl... Ned has a girl, like, locked away in his subconscious. And, like, the attic basement beyond level is, like, fear inside your own home, in a way. Which I think is maybe a little bit of a reach, but an interesting read. Um. Yeah. Ah. What's with these cycles? It's not working like it normally does. Even if they weren't conceptualizing a trans child, it did occur to them, damn, you know what would be scary hang. If no one accepted the identity you felt was true to you, yeah, exactly. the same pog Step. jump hop skip and a jump it's it's just there's stuff here there are queer themes i think anyone who says there's not is kind of kidding themselves you know or you know deluding themselves really Dun, dun, dun. When the moon is filled with gold and the maps are chilly And they're partly filled with water, you should say a prayer As we have this wicked pastime, that's always been our dream Is to drop electrics up in there and watch you scream That's the rat song. I should watch the dang show. I haven't really watched the show, to be honest. I've watched that episode, and that episode is, is pretty pog most of the way through. Um. Pardon, but that grave is reserved. Yeah, I don't know. I've got the game. The, the show also has, like, a different color palette. 
of it's very like kind of like gray and blue. Saved it to a server so it'd be relatively easy to do. There you go, hey. I think I've said it before, but uh, a lot of that show for a while was lost media. scream in there. Never seen a pumpkin? Whoa! Yeah, I was gonna say, like, if, uh, if you gave Ned longer hair, this is a lot what I... A lot like what I look like at age nine or whatever. And I was like, well, that description is just like white boy with glasses. Then. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, of course. Shaved off 0.4 seconds. Yeah, white boy with glasses who's skinny as heck, and let's say, like, on the shorter side. Actually, regularly in my classes, I was, like, third shortest. All through elementary school, middle school. Um, then when I was 19, I shot up, like, a foot. Not a foot, like six inches. According to uh, to one of our friends, um, between like fall and spring semester, hang on, in my freshman year, she says um, that uh, I came back and I had like I had some I had like somewhat of a beard or at least stubble because I was too depressed to shave. And, um, I was a lot taller, and she was like, who's this fucking mountain man who's, come, who's in this club now? <laughs> it is quite a birth spurt. I'm the tallest person in my family. Though I have apparently shrunk two inches. Thought I was 5'10. Turns out I'm 5'8. Is it the hormones? Who knows? Who's to say? Science will never know. The world will never know. Alright, get ready, folks. We're gonna do a jump. Oh. This is a little late on that split, and it still says minus point two. Take a big step. Jump. Jump. All the way to the end. Down. Jump. We're ducking. We're jumping. Don't even have to worry. Walk out of there like a cool guy. Turn.
that bat is impossible to dodge. You you cannot convince me otherwise at this point. Couple of slowdowns there. Okay though, because this is gonna be a good tooth monster. Actually pretty bad. Lobby is old reliable though. You're a clutch, Nick. Lovely seeing you. Please excuse me. I've gotta get these lollipops to a patient upstairs. You mean not gonna do anything to me? See you later. Ned jumps for some reason? Yep. I like that 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 chair. Not really a couch. That was just me being late on the split. Honestly, the idea of, like, the potential symbolism of Ned having, like, a, a, like, little girl locked up in his subconscious is, like, that is potent to me. Maybe it's a reach, but also, like, they, they might be reaching for some good stuff there. There we go. There we go. That's the the point five seconds. Yeah, it doesn't feel that far. Wow. Wow. Who knows how this one's gonna end up? <laughs> Triple dare you! If we get four records in a row, we get four records in a row. If we don't, I'm not crying. say it is funny how um how i always tell silent that i broke her record before i go and like submit it to speedrun.com she always waits she waits for me to see it to get the email of like your speedrun has been <laughs> speedrun record has been broken it's like oh the style i love her she's funny Somehow a second. Come on, close librarian. Where is she? Oh my god. Does it like depend on it's unlocking? I, I just get that. Does it, like, depend on what order you do the fucking levels in?
Because I feel like while doing school first, I've never seen a librarian that far. I wish that someone who is better at, like, coding and stuff than me was interested in this game so they could tear the code apart and find some of this shit out. Damn, that is a record. Surprised? What the are you doing? Was I losing, what, what, like, what is gonna, eight uh, seconds on the mask? Up? I always wanted to hang out with you, but I'm scared everyone would think I wasn't as tough as everyone thinks I am. I'd hang out with you, Billy. But you have Damn. to stop calling me Melonhead. That's fair. See you Fuck later, hell. Billy. Yep. Thanks, Ned. Oh man, now the record's got me talking about <laughs> that comment of Nightmare Ned <laughs> supporting Stonewall or something. Thank you for the thank you for the congrats. Good game. Fourteen thirty-five. And we were plus four seconds there. Or like, right up until the end. If we didn't get stunlocked, momentarily stunlocked, if the librarian was a bit closer. And, uh, what else did we screw up? I think it was a lot of little things. Hope you weren't scared by the storm last night. Whatever. That's fine. Great. Now what are we supposed so I've now beaten Silence Record by 12 seconds. Hideous, painful medical Feels good. Procedures on each other. Gonna highlight that later. Ah, damn. Alright, well. Save those splits. Let's, uh, let's open up all tasks again. We'll do a single all task run to once again practice for the Moonshot live event. And then we'll end the stream. Oh. I should eat. Might stream later, though. Plus, I believe I'm about to step on Andrew and Riley's toes. Oh, also tomorrow we're going to be on Historia Homies, or rather, Camilla Will, playing Four Swords. I didn't know there was a there was another one. swords. It also doesn't help that they animate his little boxer shorts like a like a skirt a lot of the time. <laughs> a worse one, but maybe better to play. I guess we'll see. All right, we're doing an all task run. This one will be less focused on commentary. Last time I did my my AGDQ spiel. Are you to enter this nightmare? This time we're just we're gonna we're gonna play. I'm gonna do my regular commentary. I 
believe Paddington for the event is making me a, uh, a Claudia Games Done Quick overlay for that segment. Because <laughs> we need a 4x3 screen and a timer. Man, beaten silence record by 0.04 seconds was such a fucking rush. Did I do that five seconds faster? I guess it was at like 118 before? That's weird. I guess that's comparing my PB, and in my PB I had a really bad photo day. Hey, good, good, um, pretty good mascot. States, I'll go and maybe maybe later tonight I'll go out and I'll go and grind out um quiltless no save because uh that is one where neither silent nor I have attempted it um because it's annoying in <laughs> short Oh, I fucked up. Surprised? What oh. are you doing here? Well, you know, I thought I was gonna, yeah. Uh, God damn it. I always wanted to hang out with you, but I'm scared everyone would think I wasn't as tough as everyone thinks I am. I'd hang okay, out skip with both you. of these. But you have to stop calling me Melly. And we'll come back when math class hits. Billy. Yep. Thanks, Ned. <laughs> I was like, a minute 30? That shouldn't be fucking possible. are going to be all fucked up. <laughs> Hopefully it all washes out by the time I get to math class. Ned Needlemeyer. So you. Love ya, baby. Well, Tell well, well. If it isn't the blowjob mm. brothers. Beach whacked. We might have to take your back. Thank you for calling the happiest place on earth. I. Lukey Dukes. I hope you're ashamed My, of yourself. My uh, yo-yo was not working for a split second there. The number you have dialed has been disconnected permanently. Huh? I hope you're. Th That's gonna be it. Hi, no. Lisa, Courtney, and Madison are way too busy. This one is so long. Run the phone, so leave a message, and we'll try to find a minute to call you back. <laughs> no. 
beeswax. I hope your parents are ready for some very disturbing news. Come on. That's real parents. I feel it in my bones. Oh no! This is an outrage! There is no way our darling Max could do something this heinous, this pedestrian, this lubricious! <laughs> love that. <laughs> I love that whole interaction, to be honest. Made me, uh, made me learn a new word. Lubricious. It's like, um... Like, perverted, essentially. This heinous, this pedestrian, this lubricious. Take that, rocks. Lubricious. Offensively displaying or intended to arouse sexual desire. Ned would never do something this horny. And line up your feet with the girl. There we go. Come past these skater boys. Say see you later, boys. Yeah, we're way fucking behind. <laughs> I'm not even sure if it's just because of the slot machine. Good morning. Now open your math book to page 999, please. Let's look at the first problem. Training is carrying 200 people going 80 miles an hour. Halfway down, I'm trying to move up. Training is carrying 200 ducks and doing 40 plus per mile an hour. Every time they hear one quack, no sir, they take the differential of the numerator of the quotient. Probably could have jumped, but whatever. <laughs> Plus a minute and 26 seconds, whatever. This is why we're practicing, so we don't do this on stream. On Moonshot stream. Every time you do one crack. Eat my yo yo. Ooh. Oh, hey. Two cycle chicken, please. Thank you. Since I've ever done chicken? That's weird. Okay, a whole second? Oh, world. Prepare for battle. Ooh, four hits. See if you notice, I got closer to the stupid switch. How is that possible? I'm jumping from the same spot. Hey, pretty good clay monster, though. Oh, it's so over. <laughs> for battle. Fuck, fuck this. I'm done. <laughs> I think that's gonna be the stream. I've clearly done too much in any nine. <laughs> 
dude. Damn, that was a good four hits on him. Nice. Okay. That's it. That's, I'm done. <laughs> The menu says I'm done. All right, well, thanks for joining me. I might stream later tonight. Um, I closed it without shutting it down. Whatever. Um, yeah, knit it out for right now. Hey, four world records? <laughs> That's pretty bog. You love to see it. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Um, yeah, if I'm back later, I'm back later. If I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> Love. Tautology. Whatever. Get me out of here. Goodbye. <laughs>